Welcome back. So my foundation is on, my eyes are primed, and my eyebrows are on. If you guys want to see my brow routine, click right here. So I'm going to go in with some scotch tape and align this to elongate my lower lash line, and this will give us a very nice wing. Now I'm going to take a light transition shade. This is Wedge with a blending brush by MAC. It's a 217. And after a little, you know, a dance party, I'm just going to put this in my crease, and this will help everything blend flawlessly. Taking a black shade stick, this is by NYX, I'm going to apply this onto the lid. It doesn't matter if this is messy, but I chose a black as opposed to a white because a black would keep the look dark while the white would make the purple too light. And while blending this out with a synthetic brush, I realized that I hate this base because it gaps all the time, but that doesn't matter because I went in with this gorgeous, gorgeous purple by um, Urban Decay and I paired it right over top of the black and you couldn't really tell how patchy that was, but I am pushing the purple all the way up into my crease so that when my eyes are open, you can still see the purple. Now, we're also going to bring this all the way to the inner corner, but do not blend. I know you want to, I want to, but don't. So we're going to go in with a dark brown and a tapered crease brush and this is going to blend the purple into the transition color that we used. If you were to just blend the purple and the transition color, it would get muddy, it'd get messy, and it'd be gross. So we're just going to go in and blend this with the dark shadow and then just gradually blend it. It's a very good blending process. Taking a white eyeshadow, I'm going to pop this under my brow bone as a highlight and then remove the tape and now we have this beautiful, you know, sharp line. But I'm going to warm it up a little bit with a pumpkin shade and a flat um, crease brush. This is by Tarte and this will even out the crease a little bit, warm it up and also blend out the harsh line. Moving right along to eyeliner, this is the Tarte Gel Eyeliner and I'm winging this out. You don't have to do a wing, you don't have to do eyeliner, you could keep you could keep the tape on for this. It's completely up to you, but I am just lining my whole eye. And right here, I noticed that my teeth looked so white. I didn't know if it was from the purple or if it was because my face is kind of tan, but it was really white. Anyway, I'm moving on to mascara, and this is the Tarte Gifted Smart Amazonian Clay. Then I'm gonna go in with lashes. These are the 120s, but I already have a lash how to apply it, so click on the screen right now to watch that. And now my lashes are all on. Moving right along to concealer, this is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. This is my favorite, favorite concealer right now. I am loving, loving it. And I'm just blending this out with a beauty blender. And if anyone is wondering, I'm in the shade Light Neutral. I'm not warm, um, it's neutral because the warm on me was very yellow and this was neutral, so you know, obviously I don't want to be too yellow. So I'm just blending this out with the blending brush and with a stippling brush and then I'm going in and setting it with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder also with the Beauty Blender because it gives a flawless finish. Moving back to the eyes, I'm taking a pencil brush. Sorry, my window's open. I probably should have closed it. Oh my gosh, I'm such an idiot. And I'm mixing together a purple and a black and running this along the lower lash line. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I should have closed my window. And then I am also rimming my waterline with a gray eyeliner. Moving on to the glitter, I'm using a liquid glitter. This is from NYX. And I'm just applying this on the inner half of my lower lash line. But be very careful not to look down because then it's going to spread and kind of crease. So I'm just fanning it dry right here and then moving right along to lower lash mascara on just the outer corner so that the inner corner can still pop with that silver. I'm going to go on to contour and bronze the face a little bit with a matte bronzer and this is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil, my favorite bronzer ever. If you guys haven't ever tried this, go try it and also if you don't have it, just go to Ulta and smell it because it smells so good. So I'm going to contour and then buff that in with a brush to make myself just, you know, bronzy and glowy. Moving on, I'm skipping blush for this look and just sticking to contour and highlight. So this is Sunbeam, which is like a goldeny cream highlight and I absolutely love this for glowy, glowy skin. 
Moving it down onto the lips, I first started off with this Tarte Lip Surgeon and I thought it'd be a lot more nude as you guys can tell, but it was actually rather pink so what I did was I paired it with this Lip Tar by OCC and just with a brush, I think this is from Crown Brush, I just paired that right over top of the um, lip surgeon and I really really liked it but I wanted a little gloss so I just added a nude lip gloss and this is by Tom Ford so that finishes off the look I really hope you guys all enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up and also let me know in the comments what other videos you guys want to see and as always you guys can always tweet me any pictures that you like of makeup and I'll try to recreate it talk to you guys all next time see ya